representatives from the Council on Aging and all the volunteers in the kitchen for helping us serve the food and everything today. And, and let's also give a round of applause to Tiago Tatayo of George's Cafe. He always is here to donate the food. And I know there's a lot of candidates here. They, they may speak later or they're passing out flies like myself, but I want to explain things. The primary date for the primary election is September 4th, and it is on, after the day after Labor Day. And unfortunately, the reason that happened, there was a lot of Jewish holidays. So they had to pick a Tuesday, and that was the Tuesday that was chosen. So unfortunately, it is a day after Labor Day, but if anybody needs absentee ballots that you know of, you can contact me, you can contact the Elections Commission downtown at City Hall. I'm sure any of the other candidates will be willing to help as well. But uh, it is the day after Labor Day, so spread the word. It's a very important election then. September, November 6th is the general election. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for showing up today, for all your support, and to all the veterans who are in the audience, thank you for your service to our country. God bless you all. And, and, and i got to thank Janice and the crew from the Council on Aging. They do a tremendous job. for a minute for music because you know hi how you doing <laughs> how is everybody today and don't think I didn't notice that you went totally silent for Senator Brady but y'all talk over me all the time and I know you by name and you know I'll point you out okay first and foremost we want to thank everybody for joining us today we want to make sure that we thank all of our volunteers that are here because without them, we couldn't do any of these events. So today we have David Andrews. Say hi, David. We have David and Carol and Bob, Eleanor, Lillian, Rose Hale, Rose Silva, John Kenny, Helen O'Connor, Francis Sorgman, and Marilyn Williams. So if we can give all of those, they set the tables, they're going to be serving behind the line, and they help you guys check in and keep it using the line things. See, two lines works. Two lines works. So. Um, we also want to say thank you to the Brockton Rotary Club and Crescent Credit Union for sponsoring our beverage station this year. Thank you very much. And I want to thank Richard and Amy who are here representing them today. Thank you. We want to say thank you to all our elected officials that are here. We have Mayor Bill Carpenter, Susan Castro, Councilor Ann Beauregard, Councilor Jack Lally is here today. Senator Brady for being here today with all of his staff. We have Al and Marianne and Rick and Martha and Jean and Ed. Um, then we also want to thank State Representative Jerry Casti is here. Yay. And Amelia and Bridget are here today. Um, and then we have a couple of people, actually, and then we have Register of Deeds, John Buckley is here with us today as well. And we have Mark Lindy here with us today. And then unfortunately, Councillor Sullivan won't be able to be here today, but he sends his regards. And Councillor Farwell is not able to be here because he is recovered from a foot injury. Otherwise, we know they would always be here today.
also have Chris Ionellas here with us today. And then Representative Claire Cronin should be on her way. Amelia's here already. So. Um, and we also want to give a huge round of thanks to Charlie Chitaglia and all of his staff at George's Cafe. <laughs> to Billy Kuchu and our After Hours band. Um, to the staff here at the Brockton High School that are always helping us. We have Beverly and Elaine in the cafeteria with us. And then we have Junior and Rick, who are the ones that set up this room and move everything, no matter how many times we ask them with a smile on their face. So we want to thank them. We also want to thank all of our partners in the community that help support the Council on Aging every week and every month by either donations or helping fund and raise activities for us. So we have Representative Sandy Lucas here from Southeast Rehab today. We have Renee Brungard and Julie Blum from Harbor Health are here with us today. We have Mary Barris and Katie Taylor from West Acres are here today. Oh, Julie Richer, I'm sorry, I said your wrong last name for Harbor Health. Um, and then I know I just, and Lorena Crayer from Care One in Randolph, who's hiding behind the line. <laughs> I think that's everyone. I hope I didn't miss anyone. Did I miss anyone? No, yay. We're always happy when we don't miss anyone. It takes two brains to not miss anyone. Janice is over here whispering in my ear. So, I think that's anyone. If I forget anybody, I didn't mean to. And without further ado, Janice Fitzgerald. Hey, everybody. How are you all? I can't believe it's another year. Can you? It seems just like yesterday we were here doing this crazy event. Um, and I think next year we'll start at 11.30 just so we can get all the acknowledgements in. Holy cow, that was a long one. Um, but I'm not sure if you mentioned these folks, but I want to say thank you to Cable, Jay Miller, Mark Lindy again acknowledged, and uh, Drug Take Back. Mayor's Office, Brewster Ambulance, and the Brockton Police Department. And Mark from the Enterprise, who... I have to tell you, and this is where I need everyone's attention for a second. So put down your cucumber or your tomato. So as I walked past Mark to get up here to do our announcements, Mark said to Michelle and I, Oh, the dream team. <laughs> and you know what? You're right, Mark, because, and I think you'll all agree that we have got the best team probably in the city of Brockton, Michelle, Carla, Dottie, and Brian. Um, and certainly without them, I'd be all by myself and I'd be pretty scared. <laughs> So, um, thank you to all you guys very much. I got the jingle up, jingle up, everywhere I go, jingle up, the people know the part I'm playing. Jingle up, jingle up, jingle up, for every man, jingle up, selling each roll man, jingle up, ooh, what a day. Jingle up, jingle up, jingle up, there will come a day when you will pass away. close to 400 people in an Italian dinner, lunch, within two minutes? Two minutes! Woo! Fantastic. I think we're all done. It's an extra tray, Jay. You gonna eat it? No? Okay. Um, at this time, I'd like to introduce the mayor of our city. Mayor Bill Carpenter. Thank you, Janice. So I won't repeat thanking all the people that were just <laughs> thanked, or well, the food's going to get cold, uh, but just very briefly, I, I do want to thank all the sponsors and the volunteers and everyone that makes this great event possible. Janice, you do have a great team, and they did a great job again with this event this year. Um, two quick 
notes I'd like to share with you. One is, I know many of you attend our July concert series at Heights Crossing that always features Billy Kudo and the band uh, every year. But we're now in the month of August. We are sponsoring the music at 121 Main Street, Prava on Thursday nights. And tomorrow night is the Mudslide Band that I know many of you are familiar with. So part of what used to be the Cavaliers in Mudslide, nowadays not all the guys still play out anymore, so now they're the Mudslide Band. But six to eight tomorrow night in the lot called Prava, 121 Main Street. It's free, bring your lawn chairs. For anyone that came out to see the Drifters a couple weeks ago, it's a great venue, it's a lot of fun. So if you don't have plans tomorrow night, I hope you'll join us. And then the other thing I want to mention, I know that a lot of the folks here in the room uh, are regular customers at the public libraries. So I don't know if you saw in the paper in the last day or two, we've got some, yeah, Councilor Beauregard, uh, who's very involved at the library. Uh, but the good news is that we're ex starting the day after Labor Day, we're extending the hours at the library and particularly at the two branches that have been very underutilized over the last few years. So I've got it written down just to be safe. At the main library downtown, we'll be open till nine o'clock now on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. That's adding six additional hours. But even more importantly, out at the branches, uh, the East Side Library, Tuesdays and Thursdays, they've been half days in the past. Now it'll be Tuesday, nine to five, Thursdays, 10 to eight. So that's adding four additional hours on both of those days, Tuesday, Thursday, and then we're doing the same thing at the West Side on Mondays and Wednesdays. So Mondays 9 to 5 at the West Branch, Wednesdays 10 to, 10 to 8. That is a doubling of the hours at the Branch Library. So for those of you that use the branches. Oh yeah, Paul Engel is here. Paul, waves so everyone can see our library director. Paul Engel. Paul's doing a great job for us. Paul was instrumental in putting the budget together that uh, allowed us to extend the hours. So. Please take advantage of the extended hours at the library. And finally, I also support George's Cafe. The one thing we can all agree upon is George's Cafe. So Yay! enjoy your dinner. Great to be here with you. I'll walk around and say hello to everybody. Thank you.